Hey, this is Anthony Cesari with SuccessForYourSongs.com and in this video we're going to be talking about what you need to record your songs at home and a lot of these pieces of equipment are just easier to set up and, and cheaper to buy than you'd think. Uh, I'm going to be playing a clip for you of an interview I did with Dave Maxey of HomeMusicStudio1.com and he's got some uh, really uh, great advice on, on this topic, so take a look at it here. So the first thing probably most of us have, and that's that's a computer. Um, now there are there are outboard devices that are kind of designed to record and, and mix all in one unit, uh, and they're fine to get started. But the the limitation, if you begin to kind of learn and get into the field on something like that, you're going to hit some some walls of, of limitation really quick. So I always recommend most of us have uh, even a decently modern computer. Um, you know, I've, the, the machine that I have is, is not, uh, it's actually an old gateway machine that I put a little bit more memory into. It's actually a PC, so I'm not even using a Mac in this case. The majority of my audience actually uses PC, uh, and so I've just kind of stuck down this vein. Uh, it's only a quad-core for those of you that are in the technicality of things. It's a, it's a quad-core AMD processor, and I've got only 8 gigs of RAM, but I put a little bit faster um, solid-state hard drive in it. Uh, I've got dual monitors, uh, and with this setup, with just a basic audio interface, which I'll tell you in just a minute, um, I've been able to easily mix uh, upwards of 80 tracks plus. Uh, and so you can really do a lot even with a little bit older machine. So the first thing I recommend is just get a computer. Um, and then in most cases, depending if it's a PC or Mac, uh, most computers are going to have uh, either a FireWire or a USB uh, connection. And so from there, the next piece of gear you need is what we would call an audio interface that I just mentioned. And all this really is, is a device that takes that analog sound. If you were to plug a microphone into it, which is designed to do in most cases, uh, or even a guitar by just an instrument cable directly into it, it takes that analog sound uh, and it converts it into a digital format and then allows a software that we would call a digital audio workstation on your computer to then take that audio in and record it. And so basic elements being your computer, uh, an audio interface. Most of those audio interfaces in many cases are going to come with maybe just a free version of a digital audio workstation. There's a lot of options out there, but that's the third element, which is the software that we record on. And then really to get started, the only other element you need is something to actually hear what's going on. And that can be in the beginning just as simple as a pair of headphones. Uh, I would recommend not necessarily a pair of, uh, you know, I've got a pair of Sony earbuds right here. Uh, but what, it, what you actually see on my head are a pair of Sennheiser uh, HD 280 Pros. There's a lot of headphones that are designed for recording that are under kind of that $100 range. Uh, in their design, just like we talked about a room trying to not, you know, boost the highs or boost the lows. Studio headphones are also designed to be as flat of a, uh, of a picture of your audio as possible. So if you have headphones, an audio interface... Uh, some software on a computer, then it's just a matter of what you're recording. If you're recording a vocal, then the last element, of course, would be a microphone, or you're recording a guitar amp, you want a mic, it would be a microphone, uh, or whatever it is that you're recording uh, a keyboard you could plug directly into that audio interface. So that's really kind of the basics uh, to get you started, really. So what do you think uh, if somebody just wanted to pick up those pieces that were, you know, decent sounding pieces, but, you know, also right. affordable, how, how, how much do you think it might take to just start with that stuff just right. to get started. So I'm always, uh, I'm always on the lookout for a deal. So I have no problem with like B stock items or a dent and scratch, those kind of things. But even if you're not looking, uh, you know, for anything along, you know, super expensive lines, um, most audio interfaces under that $200 range, you can get, there's a lot of great options in there. So um, one thing I highly recommend, in fact, I have one right here next to me, uh, is by Focusrite. Uh, this is the, uh, the Scarlett 2i4. Uh, something like this you can easily get. I've seen it for $189. Most of the time it's in the range of $200. And this most of the time comes with, um, I believe it's Live, uh, which is a digital audio workstation, Ableton's Live. Uh, and sometimes you can, you, know, you can get other software depending on the audio interface. There's several options under that $200 mark. Um, a computer obviously just depends on what you, you, know, you pay for that. Uh, most of us have a, even a laptop lying around, which in many cases can be great to get started with. Uh, from there, um, another $100 roughly for a decent pair of headphones. Like I said, these uh, 280 Pros from Sennheiser, you can find them under that $100 mark. I've seen them for $89 on Amazon, so not ultra expensive. So you're right around that $300 range. Uh, and then from there, uh, it just depends on where you want to go with software. If you get software that comes with your DAW, that's a great place to start. 
Uh, and so a lot of times that can be free, uh, you know, DAW, I'm sorry, software that comes with your audio interface. Uh, and then from there, you know, it just depends on what it is you want to record. Um, a great vocal microphone can also be in the neighborhood of $100. There's uh, what's called the Audio Technica, the AT2020, which I highly men- recommend is a great starter microphone right around that $99 range. So in the neighborhood of, of $400, if you weren't really shopping and trying to find the best deal, uh, you really could get the basics of everything you needed minus whatever instrumentation you were recording uh, and you're ready to really kind of roll from there. Uh, if you took a little time and shopped around, looked for some scratch and dent models, you could even get easily closer to that $300 mark. Um, and truth be told, uh, you know, if you can afford a pair of studio headphones, you can always get started with a pair of earbuds and, and at least get started. You know? right. So right around that three dollars $400 range is a great place to, uh, to get started, really. Uh, and you can still do some very high-quality audio uh, is what I would recommend. All right, so hopefully that information helps you out. If you'd like to leave a comment below this video about what kind of gear you use to get started with your home recording, please feel free to do that if you have any useful recommendations. Also, don't forget to download your free ebook. It'll show you three easy techniques for writing songs that people are actually interested in hearing and owning. So grab that below as well, and I will talk to you in the next one. Thanks for checking this out. Take care.